welcome to this workflow tutorial video offline upload. This video should all be about how your virtual assistant can work with the tool. I know a lot of you guys have a designer, have virtual assistants and this should show and help you how to integrate and also yeah, that you see how easy it is to implement flying upload with your other working processes. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, at least I try. If something comes up, then just simply write a comment and we will answer that as soon as possible. So I would say we begin. The first step is that, of course, your virtual assistant needs the tool itself, so flying upload. The easiest solution for that is you go to flyingupload.com, log in to your user account, and this is your dashboard. When you then scroll down a little bit, you will come here to the download section and you see here your download packages. I have a lot here, you probably just have two or three. And on the right version, POD or KDP, doesn't matter what you want, um, you can make a right mouse button click on the Windows or Mac OS version. Depends what your assistant has. Then make the click and then copy the link address. And this link address you can send to your virtual assistant. He can open it or enter it here in the browser. And you see with that the launcher will download. It's more or less exactly the same what you did or what you do when you click with the left mouse button click on it. So another thing you probably need or your assistant needs is the installation tutorial. Click on the right one. Also uh, right mouse button click here and then copy it and send it to him or her. So he or she knows how to install it, but we will also do this now. So everybody can see. You can also show this video, of course, to your virtual assistant you open the download in your folder then you can copy or cut it whatever you like go to your c create a folder for example flying upload and this um, we do this because that you no know, windows rights are a problem or an issue later on then paste it here right mouse button click again extract all extract it and this was more or less the whole installation process. Then you have here your launcher. And when you now click on it, you will get here this protected information. Click on more info and run anyway. And then this will open. This is now the second step. Your virtual assistant will not have a license key, of course, because it was his or her first installation. So you go back to your user account and then you can go up and send the license key. In this case, I want this one. You can copy it again and send it to your VA. Enter it here and click start. And after that, the tool will install the first time. Um, during this time, I can explain to you how it works from the right. So in this case, your virtual assistant has only your key, so he has no account data of you. This means he can more or less just only edit listings, but also use the keyword help, the trademark help and whatever. Of course, if you want your VA also to upload for you, you can import or export your settings. Um, I can show you this also in a moment and import and send it to your virtual assistant who can import it. So he has all your templates and accounts and he can't start more or less exactly from the uh, moment he has this data. And you're also protected if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want your virtual assistant to upload, but he does it on his own account more or less because um, if he or she does that, the upload would get blocked for UPC for that day. So you will recognize that very, yeah, very fast. And with that, you're more or less protected um, for any infringement or something like that. And you can decide exactly what your VA can do and what he can't. Okay, after the installation finished, 
the toggle open and now your VA is ready to edit your designs. Um, just that I show you what I promised. You can click here on option settings and you can here export your settings, send it to your designer, uh, virtual assistant, sorry. Then your designer, again, <laughs> virtual assistant goes here and uh, clicks on import settings chooses the file and then click save and then he has all the templates you have and he could also upload if you want this. Okay, now back to the listings. Um, the second thing is now, or the third thing already, yeah, but he needs now the designs. Okay, you can send this with mail, but what I would prefer you is work with a cloud. Google Drive, for example, Dropbox is another example because the good thing about flying upload is it's not path related because of the xml files so this means it can be local on your pc it can be local on the on the assistance pc as long as the cloud is synchronized more or less the data is the same and you have it immediately after it is finished in our example we choose google drive so let's say you have two folders designs are or is the folder where your designs are from your designer and virtual assistant or the designs that um, yeah your assistant should write the listing for then go to your design folder and then just move it to the folder i mean i mean it's it's probably more or less the same on dropbox or any other cloud service and then when you go to your virtual assistant uh, folder he or she has the three designs then he can just make a click here or she and download the whole folder then it is zipping it's downloaded again um, yeah cut it then go back to your C and then make another folder or it can also be on any other occasion of your pc and let's name it like designs and then enter it here or paste it here exactly the same extract it and now your virtual assistant has the designs and he can now start to work with a flying upload so let's make it fast and easy take the three designs put it in here and now you can write the listing of course you can also have keyword suggestions we make it now fast so this is just a garden plants design and then he or she can edit the listing like he wants you can also use the keyword help for example And you see here great keywords that makes it even easier and faster and yeah if the listing is written select for whom it should be what background it should have in this case uh, ah, let's go let's stick with the black one uh, these designs are from Vexels for everybody who wants to know so um, this is finished more or less you can make here of course the trademark check you can open here the list select for the specific country um, and also yeah see here exactly what it is and get more details from the official office and so on so it's everything exactly like you have or um, you did already and this is the first design now the second one this was the global edit we did here this is for um, Redbubble, Spreadshirt for all platforms except these two Amazon and Displayed for the second one we now make the Amazon vari uh, variation so click here then this will open here you can of course work with profiles again whatever we do it here very fast so we want to upload here we want to have it in black for example and also in white and then yeah you can here prepare the listing of course you can also work here with profiles if you already selected one so this is already um, filled out and yeah all the tutorial videos on our flying upload channel this would be a bit too long video uh, to show everything so yeah everything on the YouTube channel check it out profile manager um, 
the digestion manager, the trademark check and so on. Okay, then you write here the title. just uh, something standard so you know how it works now everything is uh, selected and you can for the description can make here for example also a red mouse button click and generate the descriptions from these things here so you don't have to write this um, down and yeah this is more or less how the Amazon works so the first design is for the people who um, write the listing especially for a bubble spreadsheet and so on the second design would now be an example how you can write your listing if your main platform is merged by Amazon. And the cool thing is when you now click here on save, the tool will automatically extract from the Amazon listing everything it can for the title, the description and the text. Of course, you can optimize that here and um, um, yeah, it will, it will um, be saved separately. So if you, for example, um, write this here, Gordon, 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 and go back to the M This is not showing. Uh, so this is another listing and the tool knows that and this is your extra listing for the global spreadsheet red bubble if you want another text. So the only thing more or less you have to do is you select here already uh, or again what you want to have for men, women and youth. And this would be the second example and for the third example you can, for example, copy the listing from the second design. Um, we copied all the data and now we make it for displayed. So you can click on displayed. You see here everything the tool can take from the edit itself. It will already also be in the displayed window. Displayed has very strict um, title and description length. So the tool will also automatically cut and then you can or you just have to add here the specific information for your display, um, the collection. And then we take here your categories and what also very cool, you can select here your background. For example, if you wanna have a green one, this is just for, for display, of course. You can select here a green background and save it. And okay, we have here a bit less text then right here for example gardening and this would be it so you see you also get an information if something is not right um, so you can't or your virtual assistant is also extra help here and this is more or less how it is tagged we have not tagged all three designs um, your BA can work with all these tools and when he or she is finished, we go back to the folder where the designs are in. And you see now, these are our three designs and we also have created now our XML files. And these XML files is the place where your data is stored, all the data that is entered here. So all or the last step you have to do is your virtual assistant can go here again and he can, uh, he can delete this or he can also make it just like that, that he just takes the XML files because these three designs are the, these three designs, put it in and then it will be uploaded. And this is how it is done. You have now, or your virtual assistant has now prepared all the listings. He loaded it back in into the cloud service. It synchronizes now on your side and you have the finished listing and you can download this again and yeah, import it in your tool and start uploading, change the listing, check it, whatever you want. And this is how you can integrate your virtual assistant with a flying upload. I think it's not too bad. <laughs> it's very simple. Um, and if you see this video, I think most should be clear. 
If you like this video, like it. Um, we would be happy if you subscribe to our channel. And as I, said, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any open questions, then just write it in the comments and we will answer in no time. And I would say see you in one of our next videos. Bye.